Hello, I'm Noddy Talks, and welcome to vlog number one. Now, in today's episode, the first episode, um, I'm going to be talking about a few things that I think need to be addressed, just because, you know, the things that are important to me and could affect you, so, yeah. First things first, Goat Simulator. Goat Simulator. Now it's come out on Early Access on Steam. I've seen a couple of people playing it already. It looks absolutely hilarious. I'm definitely getting my hands on that. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of those games that has just come out of nowhere. Uh, it had a Kickstarter, I think. I think it had a Kickstarter, I'm pretty sure it did. Um, and someone's just gone, wow, that looks hilarious, and then through websites such as Reddit, it's um, it's just completely blown up. Um, like I said, it's on Steam now. I uh, don't know how much it costs. I'm going to have to look into it if I can actually run it. And that, that brings me into another subject, which is low-spec games. Like, games that have like literally got no requirements. Now, I've been a gamer since I could hold <laughs> well, no, I started gaming when I was about when I was about five or six I think yeah about five or six and um, I got a Game Boy Color was it Game Boy Color? I don't know either way I got a Game Boy one of the Game Boys and I got Pokemon uh, I think it was Silver yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Silver. Pokemon Silver, which is since then has always been my favourite game. And Lugia has been one of my favourite Pokemon, like proper up there at the top, because it's it's a good he's a good Pokemon. And games like that, it's just just because a game's got low requirements doesn't mean that it isn't a good game. Like like the games that I play mostly are like uh Hearthstone, League of Legends, uh, Oblivion, Gary's Mod, stuff like that, and I run, I play them because they're good games, and and my uh, my desktop can run them, <laughs> which you know is always is always a big plus when you can actually run a game. Um, I've actually turned it off, otherwise it'd be the chorus of struggling computers because it's an old computer, it was actually my mum's old work computer and I just chucked a, a cheap NVIDIA graphics card, I can't remember which one it is I think it's the 610, uh, the Asus, I don't know but yeah, it, it's, a, it's a good graphics card, it's just the rest of the computer lets it down with a single core seller on processor <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's like, I'll play a game for the game itself, not for what it looks like. I mean, if I can run a good looking game, then I'll, I'll sit there and I'll play the shit out of it, just because it makes me feel good about my computers, you know. Um, like, like recent releases, we'll go, we'll go on that, it's like, probably one of my favourite games that has come out recently is South Park The Stick of Truth. And that's mainly because I can run it on my laptop and on my desktop, but my desktop struggles a bit. But uh, laptop's got a better processor, so yeah. Um, yeah. While I'm on that, I should probably apologise for the um, shit webcam quality because it's I can tell just by looking at the recording thing and by the intro that I did, what, I don't know, about a half hour ago, it's terrible, terrible quality, and I should probably look into getting a new webcam, I know I've got one somewhere, I've got one, it's just probably in that massive mountains, mountain of cables down there, I'll find it one day, one day, not today, it's late, too much banging around, um, but yeah, like, it's like, in all honest opinion, through choice, kind of through choice, I'd rather play an older game, like, Com Halo Combat Evolved, 
Now that, that is a piece of work. I remember when I got my when I got my uh, original Xbox, and the second game I got, I think I think it was the second game I got was uh, was Combat Evolved, and I, and I played it, and I was just like, wow, wow, wow! It was my first FPS game, my first FPS game, I'll tell you that, and I just I loved it. I loved every minute of it. I, pl I think I played it like six times, and that was just like. Over over the Christmas holidays, <laughs> but I've recently one of my friends uh, he found an old copy of it that he had on PC, and he was just like, "Do you want this?" And, and I snatched it and I sat in the corner and stroked it like I was Gollum. <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, but you know, it was kind of, it was kind of that reaction because. Like all the games, I feel like it, it's you get more nostalgia out of an older game than you would than you would with a newer game. It's, it's kind of like a a feeling of wow, I fucking love this game. I played it like years ago, and you sit and you play through it, and you're just like, it's 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 just as good as I always remembered it to be. Like Oblivion, Oblivion was. 200 hours of my life wasted, and that was just on the Xbox, and we were just on the 360 version. Um, and then I got it on PS3, and then I recently got it on the computer because it likes it, it runs it, it's great. I like it. Um, um, yeah, so I, I, I've sat and I, I haven't played it much because I've, play, I've been doing other shit. Um, but when I do get a chance to just sit down and really enjoy myself, like like I have spare time for me to just sit in the game, I'll play a game like a blue. Oh, yeah. Um, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> I do that a lot. Um, yeah, and I sit down and I'll play it and I'll I'll really enjoy myself. I think I've only got like three hours play time on it. To be honest. And then I got bored and I just started typing like console commands and shit. That was a lot spawning and spawning in like thousands of cabbages, and then I need to turn my computer off because it crashed. <laughs> yeah, and that's another point. Um, operating systems. Now, I I I like to pride myself on either using or having a computer that's had every operating system going. Um. My girlfriend had a Windows 8 laptop, and then it broke. And she she didn't she didn't want another laptop like that ever again. No, I don't blame her because I got it before 8.1 came out. It was uh, about the time that Blue Windows Blue, which is basically the 8.1 beta, and uh, it was just about the time that came out when she got it, <coughs> and. I, I, use, I used it, I uh, didn't like it, I hated it, to be completely honest. Um, and the laptop that I'm recording this on that's got Windows 7, um, the laptop I had before this was Vista. I fucking hated that thing. I can't stand Vista. Um, and then my desktop, that's XP, just because you know, I had the choice, so I was just like, ooh. In in my honest opinion, I do like the the. It, it, I find Windows XP aesthetically pleasing, like because of playing games that have been really grainy and pixelated. I really, I really enjoy like the 32-bit, but it's not a not a clean 32-bit. It's more, it's really you can see the pixels and stuff, and I really enjoy that. Um, I could get a 64-bit version of it, but <sighs> that would require a lot of time and effort. Well, that, that's a fun fact. Um, Windows XP is technically freeware now, so if you've got Windows XP and uh, or if you want Windows XP, you can you can you can get it. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you where, but I'm guessing if you're an avid 
avid computer user you'll understand and uh, you know it's like it's not it's not legal because the uh, licensings run out the copyright stuff there's a load of stuff that's just like expired so they can't really they won't, they won't pay for something that's a bit older than I am no 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 it's not it's younger than I am uh, yeah yeah, it is. It's definitely is because of Windows 2000. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's it's like I I prefer the operating the operating system to seven, but that's 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 more personal opinion. And then um, I had an Ubuntu uh, netbook, which is gutted somewhere on my floor because the screen broke, and then I got frustrated, and then I and I was like, I'm gonna open that up. And I opened it up, and it was a great time. And now I just have screws and bits of bits of broken laptop everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah. Back onto the main subject. Wow, that was a really long like segue. So like, to be completely honest, I'd rather play it N not out of choice, out of necessity. I would rather play a low spec game in a high spec game like like League of Legends. League of Legends is one of those games where it's, it sits there and it can be really pretty it, it, it can you can have it on max graphics and it'll be one of those really good looking games sorry about the squeaky chair it's, uh, it's from Ikea <laughs> and then you can just set it to the lowest graphics possible and, and then it'll still look really nice on oh, no. that but it'll run on my computer which in my opinion is really nice <laughs> um so like like i said it's i'd rather play a lower spec game like, like mountain blade mountain blade is a beautiful game for its time for its for the for the engine that it runs off it is a good game because it can handle a lot I don't know when I say a lot, I really mean a lot of people on one small map. And it's one of those games where it's got repay re, repay? Replay value. So you can sit there and you can play it for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And you can think, okay, well I've done everything I want to do now, I'll just do it again, start in a different place, build my character differently. <clears throat> and it's just it's just a nice game and it doesn't take a lot so yeah I think I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to cover in today's episode uh, I'll probably put up another video maybe Sunday maybe Tuesday is it Monday um, it'll probably be Tuesday if not Wednesday in the next few days, I'm definitely gonna make a habit of this. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. if you if you've got to the end, then you you're a braver man than I am because I I don't think I'm gonna have to watch all this back to make sure that I'm not really chatting shit. But if you've got all the way to the end, I really appreciate your your support. If you've got to the end, please leave a like. That would really help me out. Tell your friends. Like, hey man, there's this guy on the internet and he was like, man, games and stuff. If you do that, that would be really, really awesome. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, thank you.